Well, it's not a question so much. Common, it, comments are uh, common too. You've had a lot of people here. Can you also introduce yourself? Right. Thank you. My name is Thomas Nephew. I'm with a group, the Montgomery County Civil Rights Coalition. Uh, uh, we uh, are very skeptical of this uh, proposal. And I personally am in respectful but unshakable opposition to a, a measure like this. Uh, even as revised, even with all the other good ideas that I fully support, uh, you know, working with youth, uh, others I've heard about have a substation uh, in, in areas that uh, are concerned. Uh, I think that even with those revisions, a measure like this punishes all kids, all youth, restricts the freedom of all youth for in for the few in the future, for the misdeeds of a few in the past, and that's just not right. That's I would say that's not the American way, except it once was. It was what happened before the Civil War and in Jim Crow after the Civil War, where, free, where uh, freedom of movement was a was restricted on purpose to uh, keep a group of people down keep them from moving around, keep them from exercising their right of, of movement, their right to be as they please. Uh, that it's youth is different, I admit. I'm a parent, I, but I don't want to be put in the position of saying that uh, because uh, my child was out after 12 with my permission that I'm on the hook. For, for that. I don't see that she has done anything wrong necessarily by doing that. And while I appreciate that police in Montgomery County are professional and good, and I don't usually have any problem with, with uh, what they do, I can't guarantee that in the future. And I don't think that you write laws about this kind of thing expecting the best of the police force. That's just not how things ought to happen. There will be other police chiefs, there will be other police forces, we will get worried again, and we will do things then that we set up now that we'll wish we hadn't. I think we've seen that the last 10 years too. So uh, I think this country has the 4th and 14th Amendments for very good reasons. The 14th Amendment was written in part to try and limit just those kinds of freedom of, of uh, those kinds of restrictions on movement. Uh, so, um, and I think also that the penalty that we're talking about, even if we succeeded in, in uh, applying this in a racially colorblind way, would disproportionately affect the poor. It's a lot different for me to consider a $100 fine than it is for somebody uh, on welfare to consider a $100 fine, somebody who's poor to consider a $100 fine. I don't think it's right, and I think we're, we're better than this. I think that if PG does it and DC does it, that doesn't mean we have to do it. So that's what I think about it. Question? 